Hello, good morning and welcome. Uh, it's just approaching 11 o'clock and it's Monday the 15th of January and we'll start as ever with the Australian dollar US dollar and uh, we have seen quite a stiff rise in the value uh, over the last uh, few days um, and we've seen that the commercials uh, when we were back here somewhere they took uh, quite a large step short so uh, they went from being long which they held for about the last three weeks uh, to being short going short um, and uh, I can only suspect that uh, with the new higher position that the uh, Australian dollar has taken it's close to the 80 mark uh, this short pos position will have increased uh, substantially so here we go look at the charts you've got the commercial short ratio of 0.7 to 1 which isn't great but um, you know uh, this is a, a turnaround uh, from last week short uh, we have actually if you look at the high that the last high and the recent high it is quite a steep climb up there but on the RSI you basically um, you know you haven't got a divergence really apart from you know it's about even Stevens but that still shows a bit of sentiment to the short side so uh, we'll see where that goes uh -huh. there we go whoops today so go on to the British pound now <clears throat> the British pound commercials are back here have taken um, a short a very short position uh, on the British pound so that was back here we've had this large candle up and a little bit more today so all I can suspect is that that short position will have been greatly increased so we'll go and have a look at the um, the candle chart this is the pound short ratio 1.6 to 1 this I am certain will have increased at this new higher level uh, I think that's gone up about two, three hundred pips. So uh, we're above the 69.1 on the RSI and I'm looking for it to fade and come back down. So um, we'll see where that goes. Uh, Canadian dollar up next. Uh, we've got a bit more bearish for the commercials on the Canadian dollar. That was back here. So at the top here about the 81. And we have seen a little bit of a fall off in the price of the Canadian dollar. So uh, let's just have a look at the. Um, this has got, uh, I believe, the Canadian dollar quite a, quite a bit more to fall, uh, but we have had this weakness in the um, in the in the U.S. dollar. We've got a commercial ratio of 1.9 to 1 short for the Canadian dollar, so that will be long for this pair. Um, we'll see where that goes, but um, uh, we are expecting more strength through for the U.S. dollar. The euro, all time, um, all time short position taken by the commercials was back here somewhere. Uh, we have increased that quite a lot. So, and that was before the recent uh, long candles that we've had. Um, so, basically, I think this uh, bearish position will have been increased over the weekend. And if we just have a look at the candles. You can see, I, I believe that's about 300 pips. We've started to come down today. We'll see where that goes. Uh, again, higher high on the candles, but not really a higher high made on the RSI. So uh, that is a little bit bearish uh, for the euro. Whoops, a daisy, come out of it. There we go. Japanese yen. Japanese yen. We have got a long position taken uh, by the commercials and this is even though over the last couple of weeks we've seen quite a lot of strength in the in the in the yen uh, and we have actually slightly increased the long position by the commercials. So I'm expecting more upside for this and if we go onto the charts uh, we can see yeah we've uh, we've had quite a, a good um, strength in the Japanese yen weakness in this pair obviously the dollar's been weak and we had a commercial ratio of 5.4 to 1 long uh, for this we're just down on the 30.9 uh, if we can hold below 30.9 this will just continue going down the Swiss franc 
Well, we've seen a little bit more strength starting to come through at this position here. So about there, we saw extra strength and we have seen, obviously, a rise in the value of the Swiss franc. But there again, we have seen um, a fall in the value of the um, of the dollar. So uh, when you when you're looking at the chart, uh, we've got a, a long of 4.6 for the Swiss franc. And we have seen this fall off, but a lot of that is basically weakness in the dollar which uh, I expect to come back. Now we'll go on uh, the New Zealand dollar. I'll come back and do the USD index. Hang on a tick. Right, okay. Well, we're starting to see the, um, the strength, the long position uh, fall a little bit for the, uh, for the New Zealand dollar. Uh, but we have obviously seen a lot of strength um, unfold as well the uh, we've had a, an extra long position taken um, due to this the weakness uh, on the on the dollar over the last couple of trading days so here we have the chart this is the New Zealand dollar US dollar and uh, we saw it bounce off the uh, 68.2 and um, it's been going nicely up following the outer Bollinger Band most of the way. And uh, we've now seen the ratio fall uh, to 1.9 to 1 long. Uh, and that was back here somewhere. So uh, I will expect with this uh, new increase that we've had through the weakness of the dollar uh, for this uh, long ratio to actually uh, uh, come down a bit and maybe even go short next week. So we'll, we'll see that where that goes to. Uh, we've got our trend line up and where we're looking for this to turn back down. So um, that's where we stand with that one. Right, so <clears throat> on the candle chart, uh, we've uh, we've gone up nicely. We've got the trend line in and uh, the New Zealand dollars uh, been going steadily up. Uh, it's gone really high on the RSI and we're waiting for it to break back down to give us a, a short signal on this. So uh, we still have a commercials uh, long ratio of 3.6 to 1 and uh, we're waiting for it to come back down.